Hey everyone, it's Nurse Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to take a FlowFlex COVID-19 antigen home test. So let's get started. First, you want to wash your hands. And if you're performing this test on someone else, you'll want to put on gloves. Then open up your kit. And in the kit, you should find a test cassette, a disposable nasal swab, and an extraction buffer tube. Tear open the extraction buffer tube packaging and pull back the foil on the top of the tube and then place the tube on the perforated circle that is on the box. Next, open up the nasal swab packaging at the stick end. Then remove the stick from the packaging. To collect the sample, insert the swab into one nostril about a half to three-fourth inch. Once inserted, swab the inside of the nostril wall in a circular motion about five times, and this should take around 15 seconds to do. When you're done with that nostril, go to the next nostril and repeat the same procedure. Then remove the swab from the nose and place in the extraction buffer tube, and then swirl the swab around in this solution for 30 seconds. Once that's complete, you'll want to squeeze the tube and rotate that swab swab around five times. Then while squeezing the tube still, you're going to remove the swab and dispose of the swab. Then attach the dropper tip onto the tube and mix the solution and your specimen in the tube by swirling it around or flicking the bottom of the tube. Now it's time to place your sample into the actual test cassette. She'll be dropping four drops of your specimen from the tube into the sample well. Now we're looking for a line at the T part, which is the actual test part. If a line pops up here, that means it's positive, but we need to wait 15 minutes to see what the results are. And if after 15 minutes, no line appears here, the test is negative. Now, one thing to note with this test, the results are not valid after 30 minutes. So here is what a positive test result looks like. Notice there's a line in the control area and the test area. And this is what a negative test result looks like. There is a line in the control area, but there is not a line in the test area. Okay, so that wraps up this video. If you'd like to watch more videos in this series, you can access the link in the description below.